eFlight is constantly advancing electric flight. Whether it's model design, power systems, or accessories, eFlight is out front when it comes to innovations in the mall. eFlight's latest advance is Carbon Z, a new composite construction method that, as you're about to see, is going to take electric aircraft performance to a whole new level. At the center of Carbon Z development is eFlight product developer and world champion aerobatic pilot Kike Somanzini. We were able to ask Kike a few questions about Carbon Z and what it means for the future of electric flight. The first question we ask Kike is, what is Carbon Z? The Carbon Z is a new uh, product. Uh, it's a new concept that we are introducing to the market, uh, which honestly I'm very excited about this product. Um, it starts from um, you know, an idea that it just came to my mind, and we'll go a little bit deeper on that. But uh, it was trying to find a combination of material that it will keep the airplane as rigid, as light, and um, as strong as a balsa of plywood uh, traditional airframe. Uh, the combination of the carbon, um, carbon fiber, the plywood, we have plywood also in the wings, and the sea foam as uh, the outer skin, uh, it gave me the right, the right answer. What was the inspiration for Carbon Z? The main inspiration has been uh, trying to get the foam to the next step. Uh, but how can we do it? How can I do it? So that's not been easy. It's been a good challenge, and uh, it's been uh, in my mind for a um, long time, uh, mainly observing all the foam airplanes performing so well, but always seeing some limitations in the meaning of, oh, how big can I go? How fast can I go? How strong? How 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 can I make that turn? How precise can I be? So they're all great, but when you're going for extreme performance, you start seeing some barriers, some limitations. So how can we cross those? How can we bring those barriers down? So that's, that was mainly the inspiration of the carbon C. Then, you know, the idea itself, uh, of mixing the carbon, you know, I've been doing model, model airplanes for more than 30 years, so working with carbon a lot and trying to mix a little bit the concept and structure concept of what the traditional balsa rib style wings will do, uh, will work. Uh, pretty much the same concept, concept was, was used here. And, and thank you to the support of, uh, you know, Horizon and eFly with all this team together, we came up with a really good answer, I believe. How was Carbon Z used in the construction of the Yak-54? The wings basically are two half, uh, each panel is divided in two half. We have the top and we have the bottom side. The top and the bottom side, they have basically forming ribs. Uh, so we have base and ribs, uh, and they're deep enough uh, to leave a, a really thin wall, uh, about uh, six millimeters, which is a quarter inch wall. Um, and the main purpose of this hole is to save weight. Then we apply, uh, we have two, um, I call blades, which are front spar and the rear spar that are made on plywood. And then we apply in the socket for the wing tube. The socket is also made in carbon fiber. In top and bottom of this socket, we have a rod of a carbon fiber rod, which basically these three elements with the foam in the middle, it, it makes the uh, center spar or the main spar of the wing. An important element here in this design is the hinges. The hinges is, um, we call carbon fiber hinges. Actually, it's a carbon fiber rod and it's um, using some plastics, uh, uh, hinge blades that uh, that I designed and mainly what they do is just reduce the friction so a total freedom for the surfaces 
it translates in a really nice, uh, precise uh, feeling. At the same time, it gives an outstanding way to repair the airplane. Uh, very, very easy. Uh, just one screw out. Um, so the overall, what can I say about the Carbon C in the performance flight? It just is awesome. How does Carbon Z benefit flight performance? The main thing we need to keep in mind here is I'm not trying here to say, you know, we have something that is better than the balsa, better than the composite. This is another option. And to me, it's a very good option that we have. So what it gives us, uh, the Carbon Z, is, uh, is a true good mix of a light weight, very good strength, and very good rigidity. All these three elements, it reflects in flight. I've been flying this airplane and going really extreme with the airplane in, in all aspects and testing, you know, how precise can fly, how smooth can fly, how hard can fly, how bad can I treat the airplane, and trying to find where the limits are. And uh, for my good surprise, the limits uh, are more than what I was expected, to be honest, but the limits are up there with the balsa, if not better. To better describe how uh, this airplane flies is, uh, or the Carbon Z technology feels when you fly. Uh, I have a friend of mine that flew the airplane. Uh, as soon as he lands, he says, this is the closest I feel to flying a composite airplane. So, and I was, I took that as a really good uh, comment because we're talking a really expensive kind of product. And uh, we have here, uh, you know, much less expensive product and we are accomplishing something like that. All the you know, crispy maneuvers, snap rolls um, are, are, are there and uh, it, it makes uh, the plane tracks and it keeps his uh, position in the air um, very, very good. And, uh, and that's pretty much the summary of you know, what the Carbon Z will do. What are some of the other advantages of Carbon Z? Keep in mind the foam is molded. So what it gives you that is a, a lot of consistency in the manufacturing. So every single airplane is going to be pretty close to each other. That's a very important, uh, I, I would say that's a very important uh, thing to have because um, in a more traditional structure, um, there is more labor involved and of course more potential of um, difference. So at the same time, because it's molded, allows you to give a better, a more detailed uh, finish, more scale finish. And, uh, and the other thing is very important is the maintenance of the airplane. It's a very, very low maintenance uh, compared to a uh, film, uh, for example. Um, I'm not saying the film is bad here, I'm just comparing the two and what I experienced with this airplane flying, you know, already for a long time and taking to the sun, putting back in the car, putting in your room, different temperatures, never touch it. So that's, uh, to me, in my mind, that's a, a nice plus. Uh, they give you also a good uh, way to repair the airplane, do minor repairs, um, not using any external film, so basically you just glue and put the parts together and you can be in the air pretty, pretty fast, uh, actually at the same feel, at the same uh, feel. And you, know, you have a minor crash, I'm flying a carbon Z, I have a bottle of uh, glue, glue it up in the air. If I have a film, crash it, I gotta go home, put some film, work a few hours, to come back maybe next day. I'm not, I don't know if it's flying exactly the same. So I think that's the overall meaning here is have fun, have a good time, uh, no troubles, and minimize work. I think all that is kind of resume, you know, of, of what this airplane of the Carbon Z is. Just how strong is Carbon Z? You know, everything is new. You want to see where the limits are, uh, especially, um, you know, with the excitement I have about the product, I want to make sure that my excitement uh, is matched with the uh, reality. 
because I can be very excited, but so let's go and test it. And that's what we did. Uh, put the wing in, you know, the root and the tip blocks, and then uh, we start first uh, with a hand test, uh, of course, and see how much it flex. My experience right away told me this thing is pretty strong. That's what I say. So start right away with uh, 35, 35 pounds. Uh, got a weight uh, put in the middle of the wing. Um, and when you're doing that, you're putting a lot of weight. Uh, remember, airplane moves in the air. Uh, we're doing only one half panel and, uh, and all the way concentrating one single point. So already 35 pounds is already an, a super extreme test. Um, so just for the fun, we say, okay, how much more can we go? Um, the only thing we have around was 45 pounds, uh, same, similar um, uh, weight shape. Uh, put the 45 pounds on the wing, on uh, the wing steel, uh, handling pretty good. Uh, keep it there for a few seconds. Um, took the weight out. Looked at uh, the wing, uh, trailing edge, and uh, it was pretty straight. So um, we didn't go further. Um, that's what we have here, 45 pounds. But as I say uh, before, it's an extreme test. And probably other things will fail before that happens. What role will Carbon Z play in the future of electric flight? The Carbon Z, um, put in this way, is another option out there in the market. Uh, we're bringing a new idea, a fresh new idea, of uh, uh, trying to get the best combination. Um, when you put everything in the scale, uh, cost, uh, performance, uh, meaning uh, flight performance, uh, meaning looks, uh, meaning weight, um, I feel and we feel we have a really good option. Uh, Balsa will, is a very good option, it's another option, as well the composite airplanes, I see, as well the, the foam airplanes, uh, sea foam airplanes. So um, time will tell, you know, what's the best direction to go. This is something new we're bringing, uh, which I'm totally excited about this and uh, hopefully in the future will be one of the best options. For more about the innovative products and technology from eFlight, visit eFlightRC.com.